South Korea's newly de uh, new locally developed fighter jet KF-21 taxied along ground prior to its first flight scheduled in late July. This is the first time that the jet has moved on its own under the public eye. Peonji has the details. A fighter jet slowly leaves its hangar at Hacheon Airport in Gyeongsangnam-do province, located about 400 kilometers southeast of Seoul. This aircraft, developed by South Korea, is named the KF-21 and is now almost ready for its first flight. Ahead of its first test flight later this month, the KF-21 taxied across the runway at this production facility in South Korea. The homegrown jet is planned to complete its development phase by 2026. The aircraft also carried four medium-range air-to-air missiles underneath while taxiing. For the next four years, prototypes of the KF-21 will be put through around 2,200 test flights before manufacturing can begin. The country has almost completed building six prototypes, one of which was first unveiled in April last year. But this is the first time that the fighter jet has moved publicly using its own power. After testing the aircraft's stability and safety by having it taxied at low, medium and high speeds, we will be able to go through the final process for its first flight, and the jet will finally be able to take off and make its maiden flight. Developed and manufactured by Korea Aircraft Industries, or KAI, the KF-21 prototypes are still going through different types of ground tests at KAI's Aerospace Test Center. This included a test that makes sure the aircraft is capable of withstanding air load. A few days ago, the jet also successfully tested its engine, and a long blue flame was seen shooting out the back of the aircraft. Developing the KF-21 is a key part of South Korea's project that's aimed at replacing its fleet of aging F-4s and F-5s. The country set aside more than $14.2 billion for this project, aiming to produce a total of 120 KF-21s. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News, Sacheon.